Hope you don't mind. I'll be recording a conversation. Pardon? I'll be recording oh, a sorry. conversation. Um, so, I do mind actually. I don't think I'm going to record anything that's offensive. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. Yeah. Well, I don't. It can't be used if I don't consent. So, just so you're aware. Um, so, we're from Child Protection. Um, are we right to come in and sit down? Uh, no, we'll do it out there. Okay. Um, so, we have received. So, you don't mind. No, okay. um, so yeah, we work on child protection. Um, have you ever been involved with child protection before? Oh, we're up in the system. Okay, so we'll just go over, I guess, our process and what we do. So when we receive a report, it can be from anyone in the community. Um, and often there's people that are mandated to report as well. Um, there can be anyone else as well in the community that can make a report if they think a child's safety is at risk. Um, so when we receive a report, we have an intake team who look at the report and decide whether we need to come out and actually speak to parents and children. Um, so in this case, that's what's happened. It's come through to the investigation team and we have decided to come out and speak to children and parents. Now, when the report's about physical or sexual, we can actually go to the schools and it can be with police as well. We can actually go and speak directly to the child at school without the parents' knowledge, which you might be aware of. Yeah, I know how it all works. Yeah, so in, that, in this case, that's what we've done because we've received a report about a physical altercation and so we've actually gone and spoken to Avery today. Um, with police and police are not further pursuing anything. Um, we then, there's a few different ways it can go I guess. We want to talk to both parents to figure out what's going on or if they know anything about what's going on. Um, we can then decide I guess whether anyone needs support services. Um, we might think that we don't need to be involved. In this case I think we do need to be involved. We've just distinguished that something has happened. Yep. Um, we're not sure if Avery's had a chance. So to why isn't the um, police taking it further? Um, police, I guess they go on evidence, they go on, we go on likelihood, our act allows us to go on different types of harm, where I guess they go on a likelihood of only evidence. So being a child's five, it's not always easy for her to be able to speak out about what's going on. Yeah. Um, the police do want me to report to them though, what happens, and that like in terms of once I speak to the parents, and they're going to decide then whether they go further, if that makes sense. So yeah, we've received a report, we've already spoken to her mother. Um, and then we've now come to speak to you. And all this issue's in your care tonight too, so we need to come speak to you, let you know what's going on. Um, yeah, so has she spoken to you or do you know what's going on? After I spoke to you on the phone, um, I did speak to Avery in regards to it. Yeah. Um, not to the full extent, but um, I understand that uh, Meg had lost her temper with her and pushed her into a cupboard or something. Yeah. Um, it's not the first time it's happened. I dare say it won't be the last time. Okay. So what do you, did you say anything else? Do you know anything else about what happened no. at all or why she did it? No. Okay. So yeah, we have spoken... I don't, I don't try and push Avery into things like that, yeah. into conversations. Yep. Yep. Do you talk to Avery much about her mum? No. No. Okay. I'll try not to. Yeah. So I guess there's some reports made that you do do that, um, that you do speak about her mum to her, um, but that's fine if you don't. Okay. So I guess what we have done is we've spoken to Avery and she made I disclosures. I spent most of the year last year in family court. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and we're aware to... that there's family law court orders in place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did all the legal work myself. Yeah. Um, that's why I was quite surprised to get a phone call from you. Um, okay. And look, it may not be, it might not be about you. I guess what, what, what the allegations we've got is that um, Avery has been hit and um, I guess smacked sort of and pushed into a cupboard. Um, and so she's ended up with an injury and we've that's what's been reported. So we've had to go out and see if that's accurate or not. Um, we socket the police, interviewed her alongside with Simon. Um, she has easily quite verbalised that it, it has happened. Um, and I guess socket need us to follow with parents to see what further information there is. And then we've, when we've spoken to her mother, she's also said, yes, it's happened, I did lose my temper, she feels horrible for what she's done, it's still not acceptable, we need to work out what's going on and how we can oh, put supports in place. Okay, yeah. My assessment you is know that about she does her have... her medical condition? Okay, and what's that? So she talked about having bipolar? Yeah. Yep, and having to go off medication. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which is quite common for people that fall pregnant with bipolar. They can't Well, she was told um, five years ago not to have another kid. Okay. Is that because of... Um, not just her bipolar, also her diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. Now, um, is there any reason why we can't come inside and sit down? Well, at the moment, the house is a pigsty. Because I'm so. not worried about that. I'm just more worried about Simon having to stand and write. Is there any way we can come in and sit down? I'm sure, there's a, 
there's a ledge right behind him he can use. What I was going to further say is can we cite um, Avery's sleeping arrangement and things like that? Um, I prefer not to. Is there any reason why? Or? Well... Because we're not worried about, I guess, when you say the house is unclean, what, what do you mean by that? Well, it's, it's a pig site at the moment. Um, I haven't cleaned it. Um, I've been flat out doing legal work at the moment. Yep, yep. so when you say that it makes me think we do need to come in then. That's probably more part of it. So it's probably it's... better off us assessing that and making sure that everything's all good. Her room is clean. Yeah. Um, the carpets will get vacuumed later on today. Um, that's about it. Yep. Um, right, well, I still haven't fully moved into the place. Okay, yep. So you living, how long have you been living here for? Six months. Six months. Oh, so not long. No. Where were you before that? Up in Matoa. Oh, okay. So it's a while away. Yep. So family law quarters, how often are you having Avery? I have a, Avery every second weekend plus every Tuesday night. Yep. That's not too bad. It's um, a fair bit. Plus half the school holidays. Yep. Any and plans for school holidays? Oh. On Sunday, we're heading to Tasmania for a week. Oh, that'll be nice. Yep. Um, I've got another daughter over there, so... Yep. What's her name? Um, Hayley. Have we been involved with her ever before? Well, that's good. Um, yeah, so I guess pretty much we just need to let you know what's happened and whether you are aware of anything like this. You said it's happened before. Yes. So tell us about that, because that's important. Um, I think Avery was about a year old at the time. Um, fairly large smack on the backside, um, and I mean well and truly overboard. Yeah. Um, she assaulted me on quite a few occasions. So have you reported that to police? It's all been reported. Okay. Um, the smack to Avery, sorry? No. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was put into the affidavits in the family court. Um, Actually, I'm pretty certain it, it was. Um, Did you go for full custody or just the... No, just Just, the, just to make sure you can see her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Meg likes to play head games. So would you have concerns for Avery to be in her mum's care? Like, in terms of safety? Off the medication. Um, last I knew, she had told me that she was doing quite well. I don't think she's completely off the medication, sorry, just to make sure. No, they would have cut the dose down. But the dose she would be on being pregnant wouldn't... It's not enough for her condition. Yeah, okay. Um, sometimes this year I'll be lodging the paperwork to be going for more time with her. Yeah. Um, having this in play... I think I'll be doing that a lot sooner than um, okay. expected. Yep. So I guess the only concern we would have is um, allegations of some things that have been said to Avery about her mum from you. So what allegations? Just allegations of saying nasty things about her mum to her. Like? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Like example, like I guess sometimes when there is family law court battles and custodies and things like that going between people, there are things said to kids that are that aren't appropriate. And I guess that's why I'm asking you whether that's something that's an issue. Other way around. Other way around, okay. Yeah. Because it's really important for both parents to make sure they're not saying bad things to their child about the parent that they love of both. Yes, I know that. Yeah. Um, being a single father, um, I don't involve Avery in any aspect of the legal part and I try not to talk to Avery in regards to her mother. Yeah, and she's only five, so I mean, what, what yeah, she's only going to understand so much. As common sense will tell you, as the child gets older, they will know the truth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was actually saying that, talking to, about that to um, Hugh Megan. Um, so you've got Hayley as well. How come she's not in your care? She's in Tasmania with her mum. So is that just by choice or...? Well, they're living over there and... Um, I'm living over here, so I can't really. I've only only really got to know um, Haley four years ago. Okay. No, three years ago. How old is she? Sorry. Thirteen. Oh, thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Is there a reason or you didn't know? Um, we separated when she was pregnant. And she disappeared from, oh, we, we were over in Perth at the time. Yep. 
Uh, she disappeared. It took me about eight years to track her down to find her. Uh, she said, no, don't want anything to do with you. I said, yep, fine. The uh, following year I got a phone call from Child Support saying that she wanted um, contact. Yeah. Obviously Child Support okay. couldn't pass details on. Yeah. Um, I put a half page ad in the paper over there. Ooh, and you found it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, Alright, so I guess what is it you're wanting? So you've we, I, I, I have to talk to our manager about what's happened um, because well, I will be saying the incident has occurred and we do need to put some supports in place for her mum. Um, obviously we want her to be with her mum but we need to make sure she's safe. Well, I'd say it'd be at least three or four weeks before anything happens again. Um, she goes up and down with her mood okay. swings. Why three or four weeks, sorry? That's normally just a trend with her. Oh, okay. Yep. And in front of anyone else, she's nice as, nice as pie, and she'll say anything what you want to hear. But uh, mm. close the door behind you when you leave, it's a complete different story. She's quite upfront and honest with us, and I think you know, that's what's important the most with child protection, is that you are upfront and honest about what's going on. Because we're only here to help, we want to make sure that she doesn't get hit again. And we of make course, sure she'll safe. only tell you what you need to know. Okay. She won't tell you the full story. Okay. If she has hit her in the past, um, other than... Um, this time. So she's saying she hasn't hit her before? Well, then we have nothing reported, so have you reported to child protection before? No. Okay. Any reason why you haven't reported? Wasn't any need to at the time. Okay, yeah. Uh, there was a couple of police reports in regards to Megan. Um, I we... had to have her physically removed from the house um, in Hastings Street. Yeah. Um, I had an intervention order on her at one stage. Yeah. She had an ex-employee of mine try and start a lot of trouble for me. Um, they also tried to have an intervention order placed on me. Yeah. Um, didn't work. I actually got in intervention orders on her, on them, uh, to keep away from Avery at the same time. Yeah. Which were put in place. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what's your history like? Because you said that you have been, you know about child protection. Yep. So, what's your involvement with us then? I spent eight years as a ward of the state. Oh, okay, so you've had extensive involvement with us then. Yes. Yeah. A bad experience with child protection or...? Depends how you look at it. <laughs> okay, yep. But, um, I know all your high bosses, are, all your bosses. Yeah. So it's, that's all right. I guess it, like it's good to know about history. Like you know, I guess have you had any other criminal history or anything like that? I've got an extensive criminal history. Okay. Um, yep. Do we need to be concerned about that, Avery? Okay, that's fine. That's. I won't say it's completely behind me, but um, I was falsely imprisoned uh, not last year, the year before, for 82 days. Um, which I'm still negotiating with the government solicitors at the moment in regards to a payout in regards to that. So what for? If you don't mind talking about? Um, they, they were claiming that, well, cut a long story short, Vic Rhodes had taken my licence off me. I knew nothing of it. I um, kept driving. I driving. had 21 days left on my parole. Um, the police officer said that it was random. Well, wasn't random. I got the a copy of the in car video of the police, and um, she chased me for f four blocks. Um, okay. Ran a red light, cut people off. Yeah. So to do with license and yeah. That sort uh, of stuff. Okay. Head hunting. All right. So what? Like, I guess what we have to do is um, I'm gonna have to go back and call my manager. I am concerned that you're not allowing us to come in because I guess if we can quickly come in and see Avery. Well, check you can her come room. back tomorrow and check it out if you like. And that's fine, but I need to make sure that that's all good for today so we can get going and make an assessment about where Avery should yeah, be. Yeah, well, you won't be gaining access um, today. Okay. So yep. You're welcome to come back tomorrow and have a look. Okay. Um, it's just because it's not clean, is that yep. why? Okay. No worries. Well, I'm going to go make a phone call to manager and then we'll let you know what's going on in terms of this. Do you not have any problem. questions, Simon? Did I miss anything that you want to clarify? Or... Okay. Hello. Uh, what was. Your full name? Cherie said I'll provide you some sheets, that way it's got our names on it as well. Ready, what's your... No, you're back inside please. Go on, watch your movie.
Come on. I think a copy of them were placed in her school bag. Yeah, she's got some as well. They're children's ones. And these ones are... And these ones are for adults and parents. So I'll give you those. There's those for you. Um, so we'll be back in a sec just to let you know, I guess, what, what our major wants us doing. Not a problem. No worries. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us.